Today we're going to demonstrate to you the Siltronix LA150 uh, linear amplifier. This is a, um, an amplifier that has two tubes uh, parallel. Uh, basically covers 24 to uh, about 29-30 megahertz. I have it currently adjusted at 28.450 as a uh, driving rig we're using the Yezu FT817 this is a set that gives off about 4 watts PEP as a maximum it's either uh, uh, 4 watts FM, 1 watt AM or, um, or 4 watts PEP single sideband so uh, 1 watt AM carrier is basically 4 watt PEP as well so this rig can drive the uh, amplifier to about 140 watts output so it has quite a lot of gain this amplifier it's about 15-16 dB it does have a switch on the back to set it for lower gain basically to accommodate rigs that put out about 15 watts instead of 4 but like I said I have it in the high gain position right now uh, which is about 15 to 16 dB gain works quite well this little amp um, and it is uh, pretty compact, it's not very big. Uh, I have a uh, standing wave meter between the rig and the uh, amplifier, so you can see that the input VSWR is pretty good as well. And we have the uh, BERT uh, a fifth, uh, 43 watt meter with a 250 watt slug, so that's full scale, 250 watts. And we'll show you that will drive to uh, that will point to about a 140 watts with uh, this particular transceiver as the uh, as the rig for this amplifier. Uh, we'll uh, make sure there is nothing going on in this frequency. I hear something in the background. Actually, that's also a good opportunity to show you the uh, preamp. It has a built-in preamp. This is the preamp off. Preamp on. Preamp off. It basically lifts the station uh, to a, uh, a hearable level. So the preamp works quite well as well. For now, for the test, we'll leave it off. It also has a single sideband position or AM, which basically determines the delay for the TXRX relay. In single sideband, you don't want the delay to be too 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 fast, as that will make a very nervous uh, 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 rattling of the relay. So we'll keep it in single sideband for now. Go to a little bit higher frequency here. One, two, three. You can see the uh, the input VSWR is about one to one for this uh, uh, amplifier. All one two three four five one two three four five one two one two three four five uh, one two three four five one two three four five as you can see we get about 125 130 watts um, I could maximize it a little bit with the two uh, load and plate but that's a little bit difficult when you also have to hold the uh, the camera as well as the uh, microphone for the rig so unfortunately this demo don't allow me that but you can get to about 140 watts with the uh, with the FT817 as the uh, driving rig so it's quite a nice amplifier to go with this rig like I said, it can be adjusted for 24 point, uh, uh, the 24 band, uh, megahertz band as well. That's the 12 meter band for hams. But for that, you have to uh, adjust the driving coil a bit. That's on the inside. Right now, as I said, that is tuned for the center of the uh, single sideband frequency uh, for the 10 meter band. Quite a nice piece of equipment. 
One, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. And that concludes the uh, demonstration for the Siltronics LA150 linear amplifier. By the way, Siltronics is the same brand name as Swan. Both these uh, brand names were uh, carried by the Cubic Corporation, who basically manufactured this equipment probably in the uh, 70s, I would say. Thank you.